Hello people, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Pulke and in this video, you are going to learn to edit in Premiere Pro in 5 minutes. So without wasting any further time, let's get into it. Hey guys, so now we are on our desktop. So the first step before we even jump to Adobe Premiere Pro is to organize the media or assemble the media that we want to edit in Premiere Pro. So I keep all my media in my hard disk. So yeah, here it is. And I assemble them according to the places I visit every year. So yeah. And it is very important to assemble your data. It is for our own ease of access. This will definitely help us in the longer run. So always keep your data organized. So here comes the main part, understanding the main interface of Adobe Premiere Pro, don't worry. I try to keep it as simple and as short as possible. So when we open Premiere Pro, we are welcome with this splash screen which asks us that if we want to edit on an already existing project or if we want to open a new project. So of course we will click on the new project here. We'll name it Basics. So yeah, that's how the main interface of Adobe Premiere Pro looks like and we will be editing on this. So basically Premiere Pro is divided into these four boxes or windows basically. The first box is called the source bin which is tied to the source monitor above it. So whatever we import in the source bin, we can review it in the source monitor. Source bin is the place where we add or import all of our raw clips, music, logos and whatnot. Basically all the content you're gonna need while you'll be editing. Whereas this box is called the timeline. This is where all the magic happens. Whatever we import in the source bin is edited over here. And whatever we edit here can be reviewed on the project monitor above. So now that we have a bit of an idea about the interface, we can move on to our next step which is the main part. So we'll have to import the files into the source bin first to start editing. We can do this simply by file and import or you can just directly go to the folder where you have stored all your footages and you can select them all and drag them into the Premiere Pro just like this. So just take them and drag them here. That's it. This will import all our media files into the source bin. So now we can start editing. So as this tutorial is very basic, I'll teach you to edit shots on beats of a given music. If you're just starting out, it is the first thing you should learn, editing on beats. So we'll have to bring the music file onto the timeline first. So you can search it directly from the search bar here. Just write the name click on it and it will be here select the portion you want to edit by clicking the i and o on the keyboard this basically means the end point and an out point this 40 second portion is the duration of the video which i am going to edit you can use space bar to pause and play just click the out point yeah so this is the portion we have selected now we'll just drag it and drop it to the timeline now the timeline is divided to audio and video layers. So since this music file is an audio, it is coming up in the audio layer. When we'll import a video into the timeline, it will come up in the video layers. Now there are basically two tools which I want you to know about. The first is selection tool which is used to move the clips here and there. You see this? Like this. This is why it is used. And the second one is this razor tool. This is used to cut the clips like this while you will be editing a lot of time it will happen that you will make a mistake so don't worry when you do it just press ctrl z and it will undo the mistakes you have just done so the easiest way you can edit on beat is by playing the song and whenever the beat comes click m on your keyboard in this way uh, the adobe premiere pro will place a marker on the beat so that you know where the beat is and you can cut your shot there like this Now that we have set up our markers, all we have to do is select the video and put it over the beats. Just make sure you don't overdo it because that just look very monotonous. So we'll take the video, select it 
and drag video only to the timeline. We we'll edit it to the beat and repeat for other video clips. So that's basically how you edit the videos on Beats. So once you are done with the editing, select the project on the timeline by in and out points. Go to the front of the project, click I on keyboard, go to the end of the project and click O. Now press Ctrl plus M and click this export button here. So that was it from my side guys, I tried to keep it as simple and as basic as possible for the people who want to start in video editing. I hope you liked it and if you did or even did not, please tell me in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram for more content like this.